For this project, Carly drew a tree on her page and now she's going to dip a bundle of Q-tips. Can you hold the Q-tips up? The Q-tips are fastened together with a rubber band. She's going to dip them into pink and white paint to make a cherry blossom tree picture. This is just another fun, creative use of objects at home. I wonder how many things you could make with a bundle of Q-tips like this. Okay, Carly, can you hold it up so we can all see it? That is a really fun way to make a cherry blossom tree. This next project we're going to paint with forks. So Carly's already put down some stems to make plants and we are just dipping our regular forks into the paint. These would be so festive and springy to drop off in your neighbor's mailbox and bring a little bit of spring hopefulness to them. We've got some fork tulips. Thanks, Carly. Carly made the sunflower using the forks and a sponge. Carly's using a sponge to create a design on a piece of paper. If you don't have sponges at your home, you can also use a shower loofah as long as your parents say it's okay. So after Carly used the sponge brushes, she then grabbed a cookie cutter dipped it into paint, looked at it first to make sure paint was covering all sides and is using that to make impressions on the paper. You could also try to paint the cookie cutter using a paintbrush if you didn't have um, a large enough surface to put paint on. All right, so that is a sponge and cookie cutter painting.